now it's okay. Yeah, it's just now went off. Just please be live. Come on. Okay, we've got. Okay, I believe now we've got everyone. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Gather Racing here um, in the Freshman League in F1 2021. As always, here today, we are here around the gem of Formula One here at British Racing, Mo Racing Motorsport, where we all start in 1950. As today, we're going to be here racing around this historical circuit. And today, it's season four, Freshman League tier three. As today, we are here for a very very good race hopefully so today with me is, as always mr geek fusion a driver who is pretty uh, hates this circuit but f loves to see how the races go so let's see um but yeah geek fusion obviously this track as we talked uh before um it's not that good um or i should say it's good um that track position is not as crucial as it can be so what do you think about track position as generally i think the circuit is it's much more strategy than it is track position it's really easy to overtake here so i think if you've got the right strategy then even if you have to pass a few cars along the way you should still be absolutely fine yeah i i sh I, I, I can agree th to that but uh, yes, yeah, so at the moment we've got Direction and now clocking in the fastest lap of the, of the qualifying session of a 127.4. So that's not as a bad time um, at the moment. So, really good lap there. Kebab at the moment, P2 of Tabby Dobdex on the mediums at the moment. So 28.3. So just about maybe one second adrift from his teammate on the soft tyre. So it's a bit of a big gap there. Um, between second to first, but at the moment we've got to just see how how many drivers are on the lap. Here goes Willy Sanka now into cops, very high speed corner there. Can be an uh, easy flat or can be um, you have to go off the throttle a bit because obviously the 2021 cars um, can't go at times easy flat. But obviously if your setup can handle that, then it'll be a very very easy task. But uh, hello to F Jordy in the chat. Welcome to the stream. So, yeah, it's very, very good to see um, some decent times being posted. Valdahar is definitely can try and improve on his lap at 29.9, nearly into 1 minute 30s, which is not a very good time. But let's see if he can improve here. He's four seconds down, so I'm not sure if he can improve on that. But I believe. Uh, but let's see, Willy Sank with a 32-2, so not a good time for him, but let's see, can uh, the Mercedes driver improve strategy for tonight? Um, Geek Fusion? I'd I... say soft medium. Yeah. Whichever way around you want to do it, but it should be a pretty easy soft medium. The mediums don't feel great around here, though, which you know, is one of those things you've got to deal with, but the hards are so unbelievably slow around here <laughs> that it's definitely got to be a soft medium yeah so uh obviously the tire wear around this circuit not as bad um as you actually expect the strategy is a very easy soft to medium unless um you want to go for a very ballsy one-stop strategy if you want to appear like that five you can get those uh hard compound tires to the end but i see it being pretty pointless but yes mediums yeah medium do feel better um at times obviously when you got the setup um it makes the tires uh, for the mediums especially it feels like very very good and it just generates a lot more downforce but obviously the softs are just blazing quick around this circuit so obviously the softs are going to make up a lot of time around six seven to tenths um I would just like to bring your attention to Exify. Yes. To Tabby's second lap. He's three tenths off to Etcher on his second lap on a set of mediums. Well, well, well. So Tabby Dobdex at the moment on the pace. So uh, hello to Steph Wise, that's Cass Tingle. 
uh, your um, arch nemesis Geek Fusion. But um, anyway, Tabby Dopdex is doing really good at the moment. Geek Fusion, his runs are really good. About 700 is adrift uh, ahead, I should say, of Unique J. So Unique J not doing as bad as always but Tavi Top Dex is looking super quick on those medium tires so maybe when he goes onto those medium tires at the race he's gonna show that pace ho hopefully in the race so let's see anyone else on the mediums at the moment we've got Woody here uh, through now going into cops here very very high speed over 180 miles per hour here as hello to Gather Racing but now through now maggots, beckets and chapel here, very high speed over 180 miles per hour. I'm gonna scrub that speed off. And I'm on to 120 miles per hour now using that DRS. Um into the straight now, into chapel here. Now you're gonna go into stow, one of the uh, corners which I do enjoy a lot. Over 130 miles per hour here for the Irish driver there. Uh, as he actually goes into the pits. Uh, so it looks like he's a he's not said that lap not good enough for him so um as some of the missac is starting his up so let's go on board with the um ferrari driver so now into turn one club here at the hamilton straight you will use a bit of curb then he breaks as he spins he uses the curb as that's him out to oh. the right uh, qualifying session wow that is I was not expecting that. That is a He just got on the crash. inside curve and happy. It's yeah. so easy to do. Wow. It's not the best to start to the the week for summer. Wow. Yeah, not good. A uh, start for the uh, Ferrari driver Sabo. Uh, so yeah, Ferrari at the moment. Uh, have to make some amends there, but Sabo just a uh, super unfortunate. All those curbs run this in game is just absolutely humiliating, and I hate them as well. Pretty much 90% of this F1 community hates the curbs of how punishing they can be at times. But a uh, direction at the moment is on the new lap here into now uh, Brooklyn's now into Luffield goes a bit deep there, as I don't like at times the Austrian driver now. Getting the love feel pretty nicely done there. Uh, no, I like the no. line he took there. That's the same kind of line I take into it. You take a lot of speed in, and then you can get the car straightened up a little bit faster. Yes, now full flat there for uh, direction. By the way, here goes now. Him into maggots, Beckett, and Chapel here. Very high speed, and now now the scrubs that speed off. DRS open. Use the curb there and go to left hand side there just to reduce the amount of times around two tenths up at the moment. But at the moment, Aston Martin, as Gavra just said, is locking in the one two front row lockout here as he just goes a bit wide, but um, is enough for not no invalidation. So that's very good for him as he goes a bit wide at the exit of Vale Chicane, but he goes faster by seven hundredths of a second. So pretty good lap there as he improves his time and strengthens his lead at the top of qualifying by about 700 so a pretty mere margin but something to be taken out of the Austrian driver so um, let's see Tabby Top Dex could be soon going out on his um, second maybe final run but here goes Unique Jane now through the final chicane a lot of lag there for the British driver but now through the final corner goes Unique J is it going to be two tenths he's two tenths up he manages to pip um, Tabby Top Dex and break the dream of the Aston Martin knockout very good from Unique J the Williams driver in the Aston Martin sandwich in qualifying Geordie just asked, oh, well, just asked, I completely missed it earlier. What's your pole prediction, Flexify, for this race? I think at the top of my head, unless anybody just um, gets directed, it's probably going to be him. He's just been on form at the moment in Silverstone, so maybe um, his pace on the softs are really good. And let's see, what can he do here? He's allowed to go for one more run on new softs but let's see what will he do so yes one pulls into the pits as now he's gonna try and do maybe a final soft run 
but it looks like I think my money is on Derechda. Hello to Piero, um, a driver who has previously won the Austrian Grand Prix last race in the Super League. That's someone spinning. Uh, that is in Formella, so Ferrari not really on form at the moment in Silverstone in the um, in F1's home soil. So at the moment, uh, let's see, can Ferrari do anything better than this? But uh, good luck. Oh, Muni J has gone pole. Wow. Very good lap there from him. Actually on worn, pretty worn soft compound tyres there. A 27.232. So that's a very decent lap. But it can get beaten. But Tabby Dobdex now on his out lap. But yeah, hello. As now his new pole is going to start in pole position. As we will see. So at the moment, Unique J voted. Um, two people voting for Unique J for number one. But um, I'm just going to put in a vote for Director because I think. Not, I'm not just a fan of him, but I think he's got this. Unless he just does not go out, then I've just absolutely ruined my prediction. But. Um, <laughs> spoiler. Spoiler for tomorrow, Cryptek is not racing tomorrow for the Premier Series, so not so very unfortunate for Cryptek, who could have done a very good la a very good uh, time, um, or maybe performance actually. Just, I want to add another name to the pool now of people to get pole because Tavi has actually come out on the soft tyres with the pace he had on the mediums. I think he's if I was debate, I didn't know whether he was going to actually do a lap on the softs, but I think if he doesn't invalidate this, he could genuinely get a pole. Yes, let's see now Tabby Top Decks through the exit. Now on turn number four, I believe. Now into Brooklyn's here now. One tenth up on his time at the moment. So Tabby Top Decks doing pretty good there. His time was set on the mediums, remember. So let's see. Can he do anything? So as he gets a good exit out of um Love field then now take a very short line now down into cops here fourth let's see now on board with the Aston Martin drive not full frontal for him but um, as you can see on his nice little Halloween helmet there as now he's gonna tr as he's gonna screw through now into Magata Beckett cuts a bit too oh, much invalidated in cuts too much in the inside and that is resulting in invalidation for Tabby Dupdex as a uh, director now as um, Put on an outlap, so Unique J is going to be in a defenseless for pole position at the moment, unless Dredge and Tabby wow. don't improve their time. But uh, Tabby Dobdex can do a second lap if he has the fuel and he's just going to cool down his tires. But Cyrax goes P4 in the Alpine, so very wow, good. Wow, that's a good lap from the Alpine. Very good lap there from uh, Cyrax as he puts that Alpine into P4, so 28.0. Also, as well, Woody's going to start on the medium tyres in P8, so it'll be interesting to watch how he gets on during the race. So, can't be full throttle like cops. Yeah, I think if you want to run cops, you've got to kind of have a high downfall setup, but like this circuit is not a very good track to go for high downfalls. But here goes now. Tell me not, it's still about a 700 stop there. It goes a bit deep there, so the Aston Martin is now fighting uh, the Williams. Of now uni j trying to pip um trying to stay in first but let's see direction now he's, he's 600 down in the first sector so not good for the austro driver so now at the moment uni j is reigning supreme uh, but uh, anything can happen now two more sectors to follow for the austrian driver in the aston martin tabby dot oh, let's see he's, tabby invalidated. Dot, he's invalidated again oh. He didn't need to do that. I was watching him through Maggots and Beckett's, and he's just turned in too much. He didn't even have any oversteer or anything. He just turned in a slight bit too much. Yes. He was on pace for pole as well. So All right, well, let's see where Deetcher gets, shall we? Deetcher one tenth and seven hundredths behind his color ti uh, time at the moment so Josh has got to put in a fantastic lap but he's invalidated and that has ended Dresch's hopes for pole position unless 
Um, let's see, what can Tenshuri do? Boy, he's fin he's invalidated. Woody's in a garage. We've got Dazza here, still on the laps. Let's see now, through cops, the McLaren is flying at the moment. Let's see, can Dazza um, improve his McLaren's performance at the moment? Using a lot of track uh, maggots and beggars. Now going a bit deep there on Chapel, but nothing too bad as he's 8 tenths down. So it looks like Dazza is going to be abandoning in this lap. As now Valada Harris is in the pit. So that's concluding qualifying. And that is Unique J on pole position ahead of both Aston Martins. We've got a Surax in fourth. Very good performance from Unique J and Geek Fusion. It could be very interesting for the race, especially Woody here, who is going to be on the alternate strategy. Yeah, absolutely. Especially <laughs> going through Abbey on lap one is not a fun experience, no matter where you are in the field. So it's going to be really interesting to see how clean the drivers can keep it. Because sometimes three into one is not going to go, and you don't even realize that you're three wide. So it's going to be interesting. Plus, this is Great Britain. There's always going to be the chance of rain. So that might, you know, spice things up. Yeah, let's see. So obviously at the start of the qualifying, it was a bit rainy, which caused, um, I thought myself, that maybe rain will be able to be inbound. But hello to NDM Gaming, um, who, was, um, who at the moment... Hopefully he's going to be racing tomorrow in the Premier Series, but this is the results for the Premier Series. So we've got Unique J, the German on pole position, ahead of two of the both Aston Martins. But remember, tabbed up this is starting on the mediums, remember, Gifu. That's going to be a big oh, strategy. Oh, I didn't even notice. Syrax P4, Kebab Barrages P5, Atenen, Tenshiri, Woody are starting the mediums as well. Dazza and Robert Coffarder in the top 10. Very good there from the Scottish driver who in the Mercedes as in Famella, Willy Sanka, Valderhuis and Sabre the Mister who has crashed at the start of qualifying has ended um, in absolute shambles. But we've got Tabby Dobdex who is starting on the medium tyres. That's going to be a big boost in strategy but um, we're just going to look at the chat hello to Piero, F Geordie, there's Holland Campion, um, NDM Gaming, Gavra, we've got as well, uh, yeah, uh, we've got Lenan, Leander, Robert Godfather, as uh, yeah that's all at the moment but uh, hello to everyone, the 19 people who have joined uh, in the stream are come all so now we're just waiting for the I don't do a uh, Hamilton and Verstappen in cops with them tomorrow. <laughs> but um, anyway, we're just waiting now for um, us to like end the quali. I think it's a lobby glitch. Oh no, I think. It... Yeah, I think we've got a lobby glitch. <sighs> oh no, I think I think it was a zero seconds, but now it's just it's just and as you can see, just drivers just racing. It looks like at the left hand side. Don't bring me on ideas. <laughs> Just don't bring them. If I'm near Cass tomorrow, I can't promise anything. That's all <laughs> I'm going to say. <laughs> if he ends up in the wall at Cops, he ends up in the wall at Cops. <laughs> has, has anyone just noticed Infamella and Willy Sanka at the same time? 29.24 wow. as well as Willy Sanka. Apparently there's a way... I will be honest, to... on my screen I have lost the times for the drivers. <laughs> They're still in their order, but I don't know what times they set. Apparently they're waiting for people to load in. Oh well, the Unique J's left the session. Oh my... Okay, Natty. Natty knows. He knows, so yeah. Hopefully it's not a... Qu um, NDM get it. Oh, Ted's here, so in the... Head, heads. Take him out, geek. All back part of the. <laughs> <laughs> what? So now you, me and Cass, take each other out. You take the lead. Sounds kind of like what happened this year, you know. Almost like you're in a Ferrari. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. But yeah, um, Williams are uh, doing really good as well in first and fifth. But Aston Martin, just bravo to them. We're restarting. Okay, we're restarting. 
I've got to now close the application because I can't leave so that it 